everybody. I'm Pilar Archila with Pure Gold. I have two young, beautiful ladies uh, with me today, and I'm going to introduce them to you. Uh, Shannon Brandley, she used to be Shannon Knight, and also Brittany Weingarner. How are you today? Good. We're good. How are you? I'm doing very good. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to ask them to let you know where they work. Let's start with you, Shannon. Um, I work at Atlantic South Bank, which is a division of Wheeler County State Bank, and that's in Alamo. Um, oh. And so we're located, we have two branches in Dublin, one at 441 and one across from Bubba Sire on Bellevue. Oh, yeah. So we have a great um, staff, a great team, and um, we all love working together and being able to help our customers and and please them with whatever they need. That is great. Now, do you live in Dublin or you live in Alamo? Um, I actually live in Rents, which is right oh. outside of Dublin. Yeah. But a little small town. But um, I've lived there all my life. So. And you drive, every, and even after you get married, you still live in Rents? Right, right. And so I just, it's about a 15 minute drive to work. Not too oh, it's bad. not that bad. No. I go to Alamo um, okay. to court mm -hmm. and a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm an interpreter there, okay. and so I know. I know how the drive is not that bad. Right. All yeah. right. Now let's breathe me. Um, I work with <coughs> TJS Demerdana. I am the marketing coordinator there, but I'm also an executive assistant on oh. the admin team. Um, we have three locations: one here in Dublin. Uh, one in Savannah, um, and then one also in Duluth, oh, near Atlanta, yes. the mm -hmm. Lawrenceville, Swanee area. Um, we have about roughly 90 employees across the all three offices, um, and we do anything from small business tax to individual tax audits. Um, we do a wide variety of things for our CPA firm. That is wonderful. <laughs> that is just wonderful. Now. Are you both of you from Lawrence County? Do you live? You have lived here all your life. Well, I know you. You don't live in Dublin, but very close. Right. You live all your life in Rents. Yes, you were born there too. Right. Yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> so yes. Yes. yes all to, my life. Where did you go to school? Um, I actually went to. I started off at West Lawrence, but I graduated from Trinity Christian School. Yes. So. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very close to my house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, I was actually born in Jacksonville, Florida, uh -huh. but I lived in Lynchburg, Virginia, for about seventeen years. Um, moved back to Jacksonville for a year, and then I married my husband, Evan Weingarner. He teaches, or he is the development coordinator out at Trinity. Oh, and yes. he coaches multiple sports. Um, so he was well established here in the community. He's been here for about eight years. Right. So I moved up here when we got married. Oh, that's nice. Well, talking about marriage, <laughs> you just got married. I did. I did. <laughs> Where it's did exciting. you meet your husband? When? Where? Oh, where? I actually met him at my job. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes, he was in the bank, and I guess he liked what he saw. And, uh, <laughs> we all like what we see. <laughs> so, but I did meet him um, at the bank, and then um, I mean we we had mutual friends, so it just kind of stemmed from there. And um, do you work together? No, no. He works at Fairview Park Hospital. Oh, in Dublin. oh. When you said you met him at the bank, I mean he came as a customer. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Who would have thought, know, you know, that know. someone just comes to do some little business and yes. then you are, you end up getting married. Yes, that's the great thing about Atlantic South. Yes, I mean, <laughs> you can even find husband. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been married for what, eight years? No, we have actually only been married 11 months. Oh. <laughs> but I've known him for about eight. I see. Years. Yes. Oh my goodness. You guys really on the couch. Yes. <laughs> Both of you are on the, your honeymoon, I guess. <laughs> right now, you sort still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you moved to Dublin not 11 months ago. Yes, I did. Oh, you right did? Before our wedding, actually, Evan had pretty <clears throat> much not planned it all by himself. I helped, but from a distance when I was in Florida. Um, so I moved up to Dublin three weeks before we got married. Oh, that is great. Well, <laughs> how do you like Dublin? I love it. Um, I actually knew a lot of people before moving up here since I had known him for a while. And 
um, just had a lot of friends here. I actually went to college with Shannon Barr. Um, yeah. So oh, yes. I know. Knew, knew that They're Catholic. Family and, yes. <laughs> knew that family and just kind of got plugged in a little bit. So moving up here wasn't as big of a transition. Right. But the small town feel was. Um, yeah. I love it. It's a great community. Yeah, I think it is. Well, talking about great community, we have a great, wonderful Chamber of Commerce. Yes. And I do know that the two of you are part of the wonderful Ambassadors Program. Yes, ma'am. I would love to hear from you. Uh, let's start with you, Brittany. Okay. Um, who approached you to be a member of the Ambassadors Program? <laughs> Actually, the president of the chamber, Heath Taylor. Heath, uh-huh. Um, I went to a membership 101 class for TJS. Um, they had, I had just kind of gone as the marketing person. They had just started the membership 101 courses back and just went to see what all he was going to say. Why? And he had seen me before at other events, and so he approached me and said, now, your application is in for the ambassadors, right? And I said, no, sir. <laughs> and he said, well, it's due today, so you need to turn it in. You so, better hurry okay. up. <laughs> so I turned it in that day and got an email later from Malia and Heath. So it was it was Heath. <laughs> yeah, of course. And in your case? Well, mine is the same. Um, <laughs> but I actually, I met him at the business after, after hours, hours. Mm -hmm, that we had sponsored. And so he was just asking me, um, questions about myself and where I work and um, he would he started telling me about the program and it just sounded really I mean it was really interesting and mm -hmm. something that I really thought that would benefit me a lot so he emailed me the application well <laughs> you thought that would benefit you now that you're in what have you gotten from the ambassadors program I've really gotten a lot I mean it was a lot more than I expected especially the team that we have I mean everyone is just so great and we work together and we have fun um, but it's you know it's a chance it's so much about outreach for me you know just yes I've been here all my life but yes. yet you know I there's some places that I had no idea existed that's so true it gives me a chance to learn those things and to be able to you know present myself to those members and help them in ways if there's information that they need regarding the chamber. Um, it's just, it's a great form of outreach. Yeah. Now, of course, he asked you, Brittany, to be <laughs> uh, one of the ambassadors. Um, I'm sure that took you by surprise and you <laughs> oh, end yeah. up doing it. Uh, what have you really gotten from this wonderful program? Uh, kind of the same as Shannon, actually. It, was just a chance for me to make Dublin more like home and for me to have a chance to meet more people. Yes. Um, I use the word network, I right. guess. Um, but just kind of put myself out there. I'm a very outgoing person. Yes. And so the meeting people is not the problem, but it's just right. knowing the people exactly. to get to meet. Um, yeah. And so it's just a great way for me to be able to reach out, like she was saying, and um, just kind of make this a home for me. Exactly. And I know that you get a list of companies. Yes. Um, in, in that list, you got companies that you already knew mm -hmm. or, you know, you already knew people in there or, or it's something that you go and is, actually, I love to meet people. I love that. And, um, and you go like, hmm, no idea. Mm -hmm. Let's meet these people. What was your experience, Brittany? Uh, I had some really good feedback just from that, and um, I had fun going out. I've only physically gone to a few just because of scheduling, right? Um, but I've talked to a lot on the phone, and it's just been really cool. Even over the phone, you're not seeing them face-to-face, -face, right. the kind of conversations you can spark up, and uh, just the commonalities that you have with each other. Yes. It's just been a great experience. That is great. Tell me, Shannon. Yes, I, I've had a little bit of both. Some I knew and knew the people involved and some I knew but didn't know the people involved so right. it was a great chance um I've talked well I've talked to everyone on the phone but I haven't gotten out to everybody yet but the ones that I have I mean it, it's been a great experience and <clears throat> they're really excited about this program yeah well we're gonna take a short break okay. and please stay with us this is getting very it's getting better <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back I established this practice starting with a small office, but then we expanded. I brought in state-of-the-art facility to serve the patients around here. We have top-of-the-line equipment 
of uh, treatment and chemotherapy delivery. Chemotherapy is a very delicate business. We have to keep the temperature of different chemotherapy drugs at different levels, and that basically keeps the drug in perfect shape. We have to have chemotherapy nurses who are chemotherapy certified and trained properly in giving chemotherapy. So I have chemotherapy certified nurse who are providing this treatment to all these patients. Our facility is equipped with the best possible equipment. Don't settle for anything less than the very best when it comes to your health. The Cancer Center here in Lawrence County is Dublin Hematology and Oncology Care. Thank you for staying with us. We're still having a nice conversation about the Ambassadors Program uh, with two very young ladies <laughs> that work here in Dublin. Um, we have uh, Shannon Brandley and we have <laughs> Brittany uh, Weingartner. All right, um, Shannon, where did you go to college? Um, I started off at Georgia um, College and State University in Milledgeville, and I did the nursing program for about two semesters. Oh, wow. And I decided it wasn't for me, so I changed direction, and I'm actually currently at Darton State College in the Business Administration program. Oh, wow. But I'll finish up this summer. That is, that is yeah. very nice. <laughs> Wow. What about you, Brittany? I went to Liberty University, and that's in Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh -huh. I majored in interdisciplinary studies, so it was just kind of a general degree, but I'm actually going back now and getting my master's in marketing. But going back to Virginia? No, I'm just oh. doing it online. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I was going to start. Yes. <laughs> uh, there's another program also that is very good here in Dublin. It's the Young Professionals. Yes. And... I understand, Brittany, that you are one of the young professionals. I am, yes, ma'am. I'm on the board <clears throat> of the young professionals. I'm in the director of marketing for them as well. Oh, good. Uh, we just had our first event uh, a few Thursdays ago, May 12th, and yes. it was a great turnout. Yes. We had about 60 attend, and uh, 17 to 20 joined, and that was our very first, that was our kickoff yeah, meeting. exactly. I saw the pictures. Yes, so it was a great turnout. We're looking forward to a really good future with that. Um, always looking for sponsors, always looking for more members, so if you have <clears> any questions, let us know. <laughs> yes, and if you want to be a sponsor, that would be yes. a great program. Yes. I understand, Shannon, that you are about to join. I am, I am. <laughs> I've been working with Brittany. Um, a little bit about about joining and um, Atlantic South is actually sponsoring so that gives me a little spot yes and then, um, I did miss the first event but I'll be at the next one. yeah so. someone was in her honeymoon <laughs> yeah. and she and she was like a <laughs> honeymoon <laughs> young professionals yeah. honeymoon <laughs> 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 I don't know why you chose the honeymoon, but that's know, okay. Just I had to we'll do. forgive you. We'll forgive you. <laughs> that is good. Um, with the ambassadors program, how many meetings you had so far? We've had two. two technically, two. yeah, yeah. So we meet once a month. Okay. Uh, for a lunch meeting for an hour. Uh, we're actually meeting tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> so this is our the end of the month time that uh, we meet. So you kind of bring a uh, review what you have done in that month? Mm -hmm. We keep a um, record of what all events we've attended. It's, it's an activity sheet, they call it. So we bring that and then um, we get a chance to discuss the experiences that we've had with our members and, and things like that. And then um, I think tomorrow we'll have a special guest. Mm -hmm. That'll be our first special guest, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> now, do you know who the guest is, or no um, idea? Yes, it's, um, no, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't that's fine Sorry. that's fine well you see it's more interesting when you don't know yeah. <laughs> and then you're there and, and then you're surprised yeah. <laughs> I like that um, what kind of feedback uh, Brittany mm -hmm. you you receive from people from companies uh, well most of the time and Heath had kind of prepared us for this too when we call or we go into the office to see them most of the time, if you say you're with the Chamber of Commerce, they're not really going to turn you away. They right. are kind of interested in what yeah, you're going to say. Yeah, what is it that you have right. to say? Yeah. Do you need something from me, or do you have uh -huh. something vital that you need to tell me? So it's been a really good response, um, and a lot of people are kind of curious now. They've mm -hmm. 
seen the word out about the ambassador program we've actually gone to a lot of the ribbon cuttings yes that's part of our activity sheet as well right. and <clears throat> so when we turn up there obviously they're just elated that they have such a big crowd exactly their ribbon cutting that's right um any complaints no. Yeah. Like I, said, I think people are really excited, and I mean, right. I've had members tell me, you know, they pay to invest in the chamber, right. but what are they investing in, sort right. of thing, and so this gives them something on a more personal level mm -hmm. um, that connects them more with the community. Exactly, and I guess also um, for you to explain to them things that, I mean, we not necessarily know everything about the chamber right right and, and that's why i encourage everybody to at least if you are not a member of the chamber to stop by and see what the chamber you know what we have you Absolutely. know um i've been a member i mean for a long time too and just like you guys i was an ambassador Very in 2004 nice. and um I learned a lot, mm -hmm. things that I thought I knew, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a very interesting program. Um, do you have to, besides, you know, getting in touch with the people, talking on the phone, or maybe just paying a visit, is there something else that ambassador does? And ribbon cuttings and... Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is just attending, we're not necessarily required to go to all the events, but we do attend the business after hours, right. the business and breakfast, the ribbon cuttings. Um, just kind of being the face of the chamber, kind right. of. Mm -hmm. um, we're just the liaison between the businesses and yes. the chamber. And so attending those, it helps them put a face with a name or the contact that they've been receiving yeah. information from. Right. Yeah. And certainly, I mean, if any if any of our members needed any information regarding the chamber or they just wanted to know more about an event, you know, we have access to get that mm -hmm. information for them as well. So and they can just call you uh, yes, and exactly. you can just make sure that they know everything about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I think that's a very, very important program and that liaison, that connection. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the chamber, uh, there is only one CEO. Right. And Heath cannot be everywhere, <laughs> exactly. you know, but he has trained all mm -hmm. of you and, and you can just, you know, help. Right. That is wonderful. Well, we're going to take another short break and we'll be right back. The Ice House is a beautifully restored warehouse in downtown Dublin that mixes southern grace and history with an urban modern flair. Book your next special event today at 278-7224. The Ice House, downtown Dublin. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, we're talking about our wonderful Chamber of Commerce, our wonderful program, The Ambassadors, and um, Brittany, why someone out there is not a member of the chamber mm -hmm. should be become a member of our chamber. Okay, well, there's some different reasons that you would be, if you were to ask one of the ambassadors, we would automatically ask you, well, are you, what is your business? Are you a small business? Are you a large corporation? Um, my answer to the small business section of that is, you know, that's going to be the chamber working for you. You have the ability to go to all of the business after hours, all of the morning events, um, just any the of the networking. events. networking. Right, the networking. You're able to put your business out there. Um, also, the website is a great tool to use. They've kind of revamped a lot of it. Absolutely. Um, on the Just on the website part of it. And so you can log in, get a login from Malia, and she's kind of taking care of a lot of that. Right. Um, and that can be, it's kind of like a Facebook page almost on there, so you can post like your hot deals, your sales, whatever, um, so the chamber doesn't have to manually do those themselves right. and mail those out. Uh, you can kind of manage that yourself. That um, is great. And update all of your contacts. But you see, I didn't know that. There you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, well, I guess well, for large businesses, I mean, obviously they can use the website as well. I mean, mm -hmm. that option is open for, for everyone just to put any kind of networking that you want. Or for large corporations around here, um, we have a lot of new business come into Dublin. Yes. And um, they're creating jobs, so they will need employees. Right. So this will provide a way for them to you see? put out that outreach. 
you know, to get employees for that. That is excellent. You know, if you're looking for a job, make sure you... <laughs> check with the chamber. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. That is wonderful. Or if you're, a, you know, or check with your ambassador if you have one. If right. you know someone that is looking for one, you know, exactly. we would know Absolutely. as well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That is great. Um, as young professionals, mm -hmm. why someone there that is a professional, mm -hmm. is young, um, well, first of all, what is the age? Uh, the age for a young professional is anywhere from 21 to 40. Uh, we give a little leeway on the 40. If you're young at heart, come on out. <laughs> okay. Now, let me ask you. Uh -huh. If you're 40 and then you turn 41 or 42, do you guys go, well, you need to leave? No, we're not kicking anybody out. No. Okay. <laughs> no. At that point, um, we haven't had that come across yet. Um, but at that point, we would just kind of roll over, and they would be kind of a mentor to the younger professionals okay. in the group as well. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You're too <laughs> old for us. <laughs> you need to go. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, okay, I'll sign up next week. Okay, great. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you want to say to someone that is out there, is not in the young professionals, mm -hmm. But it's a young professional. Right. Um, well, basically, it's just a way for people our age, the 21 to 40 gap, there's not really a place for all of us to get together and to network. Yes, we can go to all of the after-hour things that are happening, mm -hmm. whether it's through the chamber, through your job, any sort of network event like that. But there wasn't anything specifically designated right. for that age group. Right. Uh, so that's kind of where we're going with that. That's kind of our goal. It's not for us to have a party scene or for us to do anything like that. Um, it's strictly about, we have the three things that we're going for. We have the philanthropy, so we're giving back. Um, we're actually having a wine tasting this upcoming month and the proceeds from that are gonna purchase bikes for the kids at CASA. Oh yeah. Um, and so just different things like that. Then we're also doing education. Uh huh. That's another of the three um, important things that we're going for, one of our goals. and. Uh, that's to just educate people on any of the topics. So yeah. one of the summer things that we're going to do is a luncheon. We'll have Dr. Allie Good come in and yeah. give a talk um, just on anything that she feels led to. But yeah. um, just that that's an important thing. We want the retention of all of our uh, teachers coming back to Dublin or yes. after you, you know, come back from college. We want them all to come back to Dublin. And then the third aspect is social. Obviously, just the networking. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that, uh, Shannon, you came back. Yes, I did. Yeah. You, you, you're an import, but you came back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> came back home. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. We want our kids to return to Dublin right. and to return to our community mm -hmm. like you did. Right. Mm -hmm. Any in particular that you want to say to the young professionals and to the people that... Um, are get, going to get a visit from the ambassadors? Um, well, I would definitely encourage the young professionals. I mean, like I said, I haven't, um, I haven't had a chance to really get into it yet, but I will, and I'm excited about it. And I think it's a great opportunity for, you know, all of us to kind of come together and, and yes. get to know more people in our community. Because, like I said, I mean, it's growing mm -hmm. steadily. Yes. And um, so I think we all need to try to be out there and be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as the ambassadors, I mean, I would encourage anyone who, um, anyone who would like to and, and is interested to be a part of the ambassador program next year because it yes. really is an awesome opportunity, mm -hmm. not only for you but also for the business that you represent. Exactly. It has been great meeting both of you. Yes. It has been great talking to you and getting to know you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I hope this is not the first time. I hope you're going to continue coming <laughs> to our show and and telling me more experiences mm -hmm. with our community and for all of you out there thank you so much for watching and until next time <laughs>